would have a husband and have a child. What good would it do? You never wait for that baby. That was actually the law. In them days that if a brother died, or, and his, the other brother being single, he had to take his wife and raise his up a name to his dead brother. But he said, you wouldn't wait on him. These babies, so return back and find yourself rest in your husband's house. Go back to your mother. Even before creation. And Orphan, a type of the lukewarm church that was started. A type of the church that won't go all the way. She said that sounds pretty good. So she kissed her mother-in-law and returned back again. That's the type of the lukewarm believer who believes Jesus to be the Christ and turn around and go back into the things she come out of. To the man that'll take the way with the Lord this by Jesus and turn around. Go back like a dog to his vomit and a hog to his wallow, as the Bible says. Now, she returned back to her God. Many times we return back to the gods of our of our beginning. Maybe we got eyes of lust, that's the wrong thing. We'll turn back to lusting again. Maybe we got idols of drinking, idols of smoking, idols of lying, idols of stealing, all kinds of idols, and then perfect and be baptized. And then turn again. What a sad thing, you remember? It never spoke her name no more. She was excommunicated because of her decision. The lukewarm church, the lukewarm believer, as each believer represents the church. Every American represents America. Every German represents Germany. Every Christian represents Christ. Here, she turned her back. To go back into the things you come the out of. How that man even preachers sometimes will even take the way of the Lord. And when you speak to him about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, nonsense. Turn away from it. That's more of them. Tell him about the name of Jesus Christ. That there's not another name under heaven given among man whereby you must be saved. Whatever you do in words, do you do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's not another name under heaven whereby you must be saved, then Peter said on the day of Pentecost, if you want to be saved, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. That's how they're remitted. And a man, because of popularity, he can't hold the Bible on it. But because of popularity, will kiss the church, kiss the message. Christ, goodbye. Go back to where he's hollered out of. Glorified. Lukewarm. Excommunicated. So Orpha kissed her mother in law and returned. And now Ruth, the Moabite woman, was a beautiful type of the Gentile bride. This may hurt a little theology, but. Neoma being a type of the Jewish church, the Orthodox Jewish church, losing her estate, and Ruth being a type of the, the Gentile woman, being a type of Christ taking the Gentile church. So she, when she was on her own, Ruth would not turn back. And she said, now look, I'm old. And if I had sons, she wouldn't wait for it. Go back home and, and marry and settle down. And she said, no, I will not go back. Uh, she said, return to your gods and to your country. She said, I'll go where you go. I'll let your people be my people. Let your God be my God. Where you dwell, there I'll dwell. Where you die, there I'll die. Where you're buried, there I'll be buried. The Gentile church, first, seeing the promise of God. Making this statement to sell out from everything to follow Jehovah God. Is it? The world